To access the control panel, uh, click Start, Setup, Control Panel. And this opens up uh, all of your settings for SI 2015. Here is where you can set up phases. Um, phases are important uh, for charging labor inside of SI 2015. It's not the only way to charge labor, but it is the uh, primary way that uh, we've designed for labor to be charged here. The other way being labor line items, which is covered in another video. So what you see here um, is after installing um, SI 2015, uh, there is a stock list of phases, roughing, trim, finish, and programming. And uh, those are the default names. We highly recommend that you don't change these names. Um, you can add to this list um, if, you, if you need to. And uh, chances are, if you're gonna add to this list, it will be more for uh, labor line items. And again, that's a topic covered in another video. This labor here is intended to be attached to each product um, along with a number of hours. So uh, you put your rates in here. So every time you add a product to a project, uh, it calculates the labor for you based off of the rates here and, and the number of hours. So uh, the reason we recommend not renaming these, uh, at least the rough and trim and finish uh, phases, is that when you do download data from DTools, uh, they will be pre-assigned rough and trim or finish. If you happen to change rough and say to pre-wire and uh, then download what we would consider a rough end product out in our database, it will come down with no phase and it's just going to be an extra step for you to have to assign the phase uh, to those products. If you only fill in um, one section out here, the base labor, uh, that will get you going in the software. And that's just uh, what we're asking here for is the cost per hour for your labor. You'll have to you know, find a weighted average of, of what it costs you to pay your installers essentially you know, to do rough and work, trim work, finish work, and programming. And then the selling price, how much you charge your clients for labor. So uh, in this example, I'll just put 50, I'll put a price around 100. And, or you can type in the margin and have it calculate for you. It's up to you. Um, don't change this difficulty percentage. Um, that should always be 100 out here. Um, you could change it within a project, and that would simply, um, it, it affects the hours. So for rough in, say, um, you create a project. Uh, inside of that project slash job, I could change the difficulty to, say, 200%, and that would double the hours for all the products that I've added that are in the rough in phase. Uh, that way it saves you from you know, having to edit each individual item. But here globally, leave it 100. Uh, now, the optional um, steps here are adding miscellaneous labor, which is kind of a fudge factor. Um, it's usually a small percentage of an hour. That's what this factor percent column is. It's a percentage of an hour for each hour of rough in. What, in addition, do you want to charge for miscellaneous labor or management labor or design labor? Uh, I'll skip miscellaneous for now. And just as an example here for management labor, we'll say it's cost 75 bucks an hour and we'll put in a price here of, you know, 125. Um, then we'll come down here to design and go 75 and uh, I'll say 150 for design. Now, just setting these rates here doesn't do anything. Um, you have to actually set a factor percent and that's a percentage of an hour, which will show up on like the uh, project hours report. I'll show that in just a few minutes. Uh, but you're going to have to come up with a percentage, and you may end up adjusting these per project. Uh, you may not decide to use these at all. It's completely optional. Like I said, if you're going to fill in just one thing out here, uh, fill in the base labor, so at least charges this. But uh, you can see over here, nothing's being charged for these other ones till we say put in 10% and 10%. And then you can see that there's a factored number here uh, that goes into the total for how much you're going to charge per hour for, in this case, rough in. Uh, then you would go and fill in the same for the rest of your phases. So uh, in this example, I'll just quickly you know, go to trim, assume it's the same. So I'm going to copy the values from Ruffin. Now, of course, if you do charge different rates for trim uh, or you don't want to add management or design you, or you want to lower or increase these little percentages here, you can do that. Uh, I'm just going to leave them all the default now. Copy from Ruffin. And then when you get to programming here, I'll just go ahead and type in that this costs 75 an hour, we'll say charge 150 an hour, so a different rate here. And I'll leave off the management and design uh, in this case. So you have flexibility on how you wanna set up your, your phases. And again, the importance of this is, this is how labor is intended to be charged on, on a per product basis. So I'll go ahead and uh, show you that now. We'll uh, just save this. I'm just gonna navigate over here to um, the catalog, manage products, and I'll pick a product out of the list here. Uh, let's find something. Here's a mount. 
we'll open this up and we'll go to the price tab. And you can see that this, uh, besides having a cost and price on this, it's assigned a phase, the finish phase, and then half an hour, 0.5 hour, uh, labor hours here. So that's automatically going to charge um, half an hour at the finish rate. Uh, if you'd like, you can always click the view button here. And it, based off of your global phase settings, um, it'll calculate out for what you're going to be charging for labor here for that half hour, you know, including if any management or design that you may have thrown in um, if, you're, if you're using those fields. And the phase, of course, since it's calculating labor, it appears on many, many reports throughout the software. So uh, let's go here to Projects, Manage Projects. We'll go to the Reports tab here. Um, like, for instance, under Management, um, if you're running a gross profit report or a detail cost summary report, you can see down here that there's groupings. And uh, these are called the definitions. So one of the groupings is by phase. And, of course, Project Hours, uh, if you expand this, you could uh, run it by manufacture if you wanted to, but uh, phase is a very common way to run this particular report for uh, project hours or by phase by location, a combination of groupings. Uh, let's go ahead and run uh, this here and this will generate a report. And as you can see, I told it to group by phase. So here's the four phases that were in this job. And then uh, based off the products that were added, uh, there's base labor here, uh, no miscellaneous, but you can see there's management and design hours uh, displaying as well, besides the, the base installation hours for this project. Uh, now you can also uh, run proposal reports, of course, um, that will show labor. And by default though, we don't show a, a phase breakout, but you can if you want to. Um, so an example here, if I run a proposal with images, uh, say by location, let this generate, and we'll go to the last page of the report. It's the only uh, place that the uh, labor is going to calculate here, and it's uh, by default one line. We've combined all of that labor that we're charging here into one uh, number. If you do want to see a breakout here uh, on this particular report, again, remember this is a client uh, proposal report, you can easily do that. Um, just a little quick. Uh, tip for you, just right click the definition here, this by location, choose to edit the definition, and the very top option under the parameters here are show uh, labor by phase in the summary. So if you want to check that, hit save, run it. Uh, some of you may think this is too much information to show on a proposal, but again, just showing the option if you ever wanted to break this out. Uh, we'll go here, and you can see that there's um, now a big list here, and basically what this is showing is uh, all four of the phases, rough in, trim, finish, and programming. And then down here you have the management design. Since I have um, you know, some factors on the rough in, trim, and finish phases for management and design, it combines all of the management labor into one number and all of the design labor uh, into another number, and we'll display that as well.